All right, so so many good places to visit during yeah. the fall season, and Ben has given us a look at a historic landmark. Yeah, he's in Terrytown this morning with a look at Lyndhurst Mansion. Take a look. I'm so happy you guys could come to my home. It's currently beautiful, fabulous. Look, Lindhurst Mansion is where we are right now, Terrytown. Um, Chris and I have been walking around all morning long, enjoying it. It's something that's so special, and it's so different from, from anything you'll ever see. Um, the house was built when? house was built in two phases. So the original house is built 1838 to 1842, and then doubled to the present size you see today by the second owner, George Merritt, 1860, 1864. Amazing. She's so, she's so knowledgeable. It's crazy. It's insane. Um, but this is just something different, something unusual you could do. You can come and you can walk around, you can tour the mansion. Right. Well, what's great is we offer a roam on your own. So the last two weekends of October, guests can come and sign up for a tour and actually tour the house at their own pace. We have guides stationed so they can answer any questions they have, but they can take in the beauty at their own pace. Let's, ro let's roam on our own. All right, let's yeah. come on and so let's... This, this, what is this, right? Is this like an office? This no, is, it's not an office, it's a bed. This was actually the star bedroom, which was, it's, as you see it today, was the premier you. guest bedroom. And we're so fortunate to have so many historic photographs. This is the, as the room appeared when the last owner, Anna, the Duchess of Talleyrand, left Lyndhurst to the public in memory of her parents. My goodness. So when you come to see the house, you get to see it as it was. It's not my idea as a curator what should be here. It's really the stuff. This is outstanding. And to see it in person is just mesmerizing. Let's keep going. Let's, let's, let's keep going because there's, there's multiple layers, obviously, to the mansion itself. There's the outside grounds. Exactly. And, and something you guys do that's really cool is you do the Lyndhurst Mansion after dark, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, that's a program we started more than a decade ago that invites families and people into the property and it's a relief from a lot of the haunted happenings. When right. you come to Lyndhurst after dark, it's a family friendly night, there's no jump scares, it's a place to come enjoy the season and the offerings without worrying about somebody attacking you in the dark. <laughs> that's, that's, that they say that for everywhere else in New York, it's great. Yeah, everybody does that fine, we do family perfect, I Yes. Guess. Yes, and it does, it does, but it still has this really cool autumnal, eerie, fun, historical feeling to it. What we did is we lean into the oh, history of the going. property, and so we take the three owners, because we span the 1840s all the way into the 20th century, so mm -hmm. we celebrate the lives of our owners, and that's what people hear about, is the history, mourning customs, how people were buried, why certain superstitions we have persist today. Right, right. So a great example of that, let me ask you a question. Uh -oh. Do you know where the expression dead ringer comes from? Uh, you know what? I learned this, oh, you took I learned this and I completely forgot what it was. What is it? Okay, so people were buried alive by accident in the 19th century. So oh there were pat multiple patents for coffin alarms. Right. And they included a bell. So when someone was walking the cemetery at night, if they heard the bell ring, you were saved by the bell. Oh, I got you. Or the person ringing the bell who was alive but buried was a dead ringer. That's the most morbid invention <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire Can you imagine? <laughs> I invented the, the ca casket bell. That's my thing. That's my contribution to society. Whose room is this? This is presented as a boy's room. Um, it's a west bedroom. It was used as a boy's room, but we deck it's more of a presentation space. So this is a period costume from the 1930s uh, made of crepe paper wow. that would have been a little girl's party dress. Oh. So believe it or not, it was completely made out of the same crepe paper we used to use as streamers in the gymnasium. Come, let's come, let's, let's finish off in this room because... And then this is my... Absolutely oh. spectacular. Uh, this is this is where you go to show off your incredible artwork, correct? Yes, well this was Jay Gould's art gallery and the paintings that you see here are the pieces he selected specifically for Lindhurst with a few later additions by his daughters. And you'll notice this beautiful portrait of Jay by Eastman Johnson. Oh, there's Jay. And there he is himself and we've draped him in the period correct morning as a nod to his passing. Wow, and this is the thing, like you come to a place like this, you go on the tour and the, the guides are speaking, but it's very hard to focus because you're looking at every single little detail. Look at the ceiling. Look at the stained glass. Look at the shape of the windows. Every part of this estate is magnificent. It really is breathtaking. And what I love when we're going to hammer down is, that it's seriously, it's different than, oh, let's look at the view. We got to look at the view. Very important. This is what it's all about right here. Well, it's, and it's, it's a feast for the eyes. So yeah. when we, we offer, like I said, the last two weekends, Rome on your own, so you can come and drink in all the details. Guides are posted to answer questions you may have, or if you just want to buy a grounds pass and spend the day. You have a picnic and stuff, And you right? can bring your own picnic. Pets on a leash are welcome. Um, let's finish. Let's finish. We'll finish off in the show. I was never going to finish off. There's, there's too much to show. There is too much to show, so I encourage you as much as possible. How do people get tickets? Pick, people can buy tickets online at www.lindhurst.org. Lindhurst.org. The Lindhurst Mansion, remarkable. It really is remarkable. 
try it. You have to try it wherever you're watching this from right now. It really is such a true scape. It transports you to a different time and a different place. It's a 67 acre campus that's just locked in the backyard that people often forget is here. Yeah. And I think that there's so much to offer everyone. If you're just like the grounds, we have that. If you're interested in history, we have that. If you want to shop, we have a new Gothic market we're adding to the weekend, but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later, yes. Awesome. Lyndhurst Mansion, there we are. Is this, is this the... This, this was the grand state bedroom. So I guess, if you got to there's sleep, too much to show. If you got to sleep over, these this is where you would have stayed. Beautiful. Look at this. Yes, it's so much so much nicer than my guest room. Uh, once again, Lindhurst Mansion right here in Tarrytown on the water, special as can be, and they also do something for uh, Christmas as well. But we'll hopefully come back for Christmas to show you. But this was oh. more for the autumnal season. You guys, everybody in the studio.